everybody, it's Michelle here with That Wreath Lady, and tonight we're going to be doing two things. I put up one finger, and it's supposed to be two. Um, let me get on here so that I can make sure that everybody can see me. Can everybody see me and hear me? I hope so. I have a new toy. It is called Mevo, and it is this camera that I'm using, and it is really cool. Um, I want to thank Regina Sellers from Probo the Hand for letting me um, know about this, and this is the first time that I am using it, so there may be a little trial and error. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll stop and I'll just go to my phone and do the regular Facebook Live. Um, let me see here. Can everybody hear me and see me okay? Again, this is Michelle, and I'm that wreath lady, and I'm really excited to have you all here this evening. Um, we're, like I said, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to talk about my brand new product launch called A Wreath in a Box. Very excited about that. Um, and then the second thing we're going to do is we are going to make a double ribbon bow using Probo the Hand. So I'm very excited about that. Um, if you've just joined me, I'm Michelle, that wreath lady, but you can call me Michelle. And I want to tell you about a wreath in a box. A wreath in a box is going to make wreath making easy peasy. It's going to take all the guesswork out of um, what kind of wreath to make. What supplies do I need? Where do I get the supplies? Okay, now I have to look at a gazillion and a half video tutorials and try to figure out what I am trying to do. So, this is going to make it easy. And I'm trying to get it up here so I can see your all's comments and know who all is here. Hmm. I'm not sure why it's not working, so I'll try to use my phone to get all your comments. So, okay, wreath in a box. You can go to my website. It's called thatwreathlady.com slash shop, and you can go in there, and right now there's two wreaths on there. And what you do is you look at the wreaths, and if you see one that you would like to make, then you say, hi, from Florida. Yes, please tell me that yes, you can hear me, yes, you can see me, and where you're from. So you go to my um, website, thatwreathlady.com slash shop, and there'll be wreaths up there, and you'll pick the one you want to make. And when you do that, there is one up there that is 65 and one that is 75. And what happens next is you will receive all of the supplies that you need Ohio! Yay! I'm a Buckeye. I'm from Proctorville. You will receive all the supplies that you need. The deco mesh, the wreath form, um, the ribbon, the accent that I use, whether it's a sign or a, a, a plush animal or, or whatever you want to use. Um, and then I will ship that right to your door. In the box, you will have a card, and on that card is going to be the link to an exclusive password protected video tutorial that is going to take you from opening your box all the way to making your beautiful wreath. So it is gonna be easy peasy, I think. Um, like I said, right now there are two wreaths up there and I'll show you the wreaths. The first one is Hello, Miss Regina. I just thanked you because I'm using the Mevo for the first time. So thank you for t telling me about this. This is the first wreath that you will see in a wreath. Whoops, turned it right away. In a wreath in a box. This one is $65. And you will receive the deco mesh, the 21 inch deco mesh, the 10 inch deco mesh. The two spools of ribbon that I use, you get you get the whole spools of each of those two ribbons. And then you're also going to get this cute little wreath attachment. So this is one of the wreaths that's up there. The second one, let me put this down somewhere. The second one is the very popular bunny head wreath. 
Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Let me get it to where you can see it. <laughs> can you tell I've not used this before? This is the bunny head, and you will get, the, of course, the bunny head wreath attachment. You'll get the 21-inch deco mesh. You'll get the 10-inch deco mesh, and this one actually has three different ribbons, and you'll get three full spools of each one of these ribbon and the work wreath form. So it is fantastic. Along with that, you will receive the card that has your exclusive password protected video tutorial. So it's gonna kind of like, do you get the wreath form? Yes, you do. You get the wreath form. And I use the work wreath forms. Those are the forms that already have the ties attached. Um, a lot of people like to use just the plain I like the work wreath forms. Hello from South Carolina. My mom's at Myrtle Beach right now and it's, she sends me pictures of the beach and I'm like, ah, oh, no. So, I forgot where I was at. I'm a little ADHD, so I like to, shiny things kind of distract me. Um, so you'll get the supplies, you'll get everything you need, along with that exclusive password protected video. You are also gonna get a link to join my private Facebook page, which is going to be called A Wreath in a Box, and there everybody that has purchased one of these is going to have access to that, and you're going to have access directly to me. It is going to be chat, things that you would like to see on um, in the wreath, that wreathlady.com slash shop, anything you want. You can chat, we'll share, we'll do whatever. So it's kind of like your private access to me. One great thing about these video tutorials is you'll be able to stop. Ah, oh, thanks, Terry. You'll be able to stop, rewind if you didn't get the, quite get the hang of something, and then play it again. Also, something that I'm going to be adding to the shop are party boxes. And what those are going to be, um, I used to do wreath making parties. Um, and I would have anywhere from five to 15 people there, and it was exhausting. Um, they would purchase the supplies, just like you do in a wreath in a box, but then I'd personally go and teach them how to do this wreath. And some people would be brand new beginner wreath makers, and then other people would be a little more seasoned in their wreath making. So I had to, there's only one of me, but I would have to go to the different people and try to help them individually. So with these video tutorials, you have control of the tutorial itself. You will have access, lifetime access to it. You can rewind, you can fast forward. If you didn't quite get something, you can go back. And the wreath, the, the party boxes that I'm gonna do, I think it's going to be um, like you can get a box of three or you can get a box of five or you can get a box of 10 or more. And that way you can get your girlfriends together. If there's guys on here, you can get your guy friends together. Um, if you have a, a women's group at church, um, anything, you all can get together and you all will have your own individual box with your supplies in it. Actually, I can ship them all together so you can just take them and give everybody their supplies. And then you can just play the video like I'm there and again, you can rewind it, you can fast forward it, you can watch it again and again, and you can have a wreath making party. Of course, the party boxes are gonna be discounted a little bit because if you buy more, then I'm very appreciative. And because you're buying more, I will help you out with the price point a little bit. So look for that in the next couple days. Also, I'm going to be adding wreaths on um, either every week or every other week. I'm adding one this weekend and it's going to be a grapevine floral wreath. So that will be posted on there. Um, so just keep checking back once a week to see the new things that I've added. And as the wreaths progress, I'll be putting together more party boxes for each individual wreath. So I am very, very, very excited. So again, it is thatwreathlady.com slash shop. 
You can also go on there and join my email list. If you click, there's a, a little box up at the top that says a wreath in a box. And you can click on that and you can subscribe to join the email list. And if you're a member of the email list, I will send you updates first. You'll get to look at the new wreaths first. And I will periodically be giving my VIPs in my email list a special discount code. So I'm really excited about that. Does anybody have any questions for me right now about a wreath in a box before we start making our, our bow? So just let me know and I'd be more than happy. Any questions yet? And yes, I'm looking down here because I'm trying to find my silly video. No questions? Okay. What we're going to do right now is we are going to make a double ribbon bow with Provo the hand. And I know that Miss Regina is on here. So first and foremost, a disclaimer, I do not get any type of commission or any type of money for showing Provo the hand. The reason I use Provo the hand is because I absolutely love it. You can make bows, any kind of bows, really, really quickly, and they're absolutely beautiful. I did kind of mention a coupon. If um, you go onto my site, thatreathlady.com, and join my email list, there's a little box up there that says a wreath in a box. And if you join my email list, I will periodically send out discount codes, um, updates. You'll get the first to see the, the, new, the new wreaths that we're doing. So, absolutely. Um, Provo. Again, I don't make any money off of this. Um, I don't hardly ever make a bow with my hands anymore. Um, this is so simple. There are so many different recipes out there. Um, Regina has a YouTube channel um, and she has different recipes and different tutorials on how to make different bows. And there's one very special bow that you need to learn to make and we're not going to do it this evening, but it's called the Terry Bow. And it is fantastic. And Terry Marshall is on here. And so that that is great too. So what I'm going to do you may get a little seasick here just for a second, so you may want to turn, around, turn away, but I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to get started making our bow. So give me a second. Let me turn it around and get it situated. Don't get sick on me. You get to see my kitchen. <laughs> you like seeing my kitchen? Woohoo! Terry says woohoo. All right, here we go. And let me get this straight. Yay, Terry! Probo the hand, and let me see if I can get that. Probo, whoops! Probo the hand. You can get this at ProvoTheHand.com. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, you get, that's my dogs. I'm so sorry. This is Provo the Hand. These are what's called fingers. And we're just going to put those in there. It also comes with a spool holder. Let me, hello from Georgia. This is the spool holder. It comes with one but I highly recommend getting two just because I love ribbons so much. So we're, I'm gonna to try to give you an overhead shot of what I'm doing. First of all, you want to use floral wire for this. And the reason you wanna use the floral wire is because it holds the bow tighter. However, for demonstration purposes, I am going to use red pipe cleaners so you can actually see what's going on with the bow. Now again, you really want to use floral wire for this, but for the sake of the demonstration this evening, I'm going to use the chenille stem so you can see what's going on. 
Over here, I have two spools of ribbon, and I have it to where it's coming to the right, and it'll come right and down, so I'm just going to put that over the spool. Now, one thing to be aware of is wired ribbon is the best ribbon to use. It is the best. Um, wired ribbon holds its shape. Um, you're able to fluff it, and it just looks so much better, and it doesn't get smushed. And if it does get smushed, it's very easy to go back and fluff the bow. So, let me zoom in here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. And again, I'm trying to get this over top here so you can really see what's going on. Okay. Now, on the Probo, I don't know if you can see this, but right here is a nail, okay? And it's supposed to be there. So if you purchase this from ProboTheHand.com and you get it and it has a nail here in the bottom of it, it's supposed to be there. So don't, don't really freak out over that. So what we're going to do is we are going to take both... Sorry, I just hit the camera. We're going to take both of the ribbons, just like this. Let me move it down just a little bit. There you go. If the comments are in your way, you can swipe um, your iPad or your iPhone or whatever you're using. You can swipe it right, and it will get rid of the comments. So I'm just laying the ribbon on top of each other, just like that. Okay, and then probably about an inch, inch and a half down, I'm just going to pinch it together. Just like that. I'm just pinching, pinching it together. Now, again, you want to use floral wire for this, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm using the red chenille stem. So, you just are going to take your floral wire, just like that, and you're just going to wrap it around and pull it tight. Again, floral wire will work so much better. And just pull it real tight. And I'm doing two here. With the floral wire, you won't have to do that. So I've wrapped my, we're going to pretend this is floral wire, around the ribbon. I just laid the two pieces of ribbon on top of each other, pinched it together at the end, and tied the chenille stems floral wire together. Now, you're just going to take it, and I've got the pretty side facing me, okay? And you're just going to take it and wrap it around the first finger. On here, you will see that there are There are different letters and different numbers. This will tell you how big of a bow you're going to make. And again, I strongly recommend going um, to Regina Seller's YouTube channel or probothehand.com. And there are very specific, what she calls recipes, as to how to make these bows. So, right now, I have put the fingers. They are on row C. Row C right here. This is the middle finger. You're just going to stick it in the middle hole right down here. Um, so I'm on row C, and I put my fingers in the center on row C, and then I put one on row C 1L, which means left, and then one on R R 1R, <laughs> and that means right, and I've done them on one two, and three. Okay, so I have one on the center, and then a finger in row C, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the center finger right here. So we have our ribbon, the two pieces together. Let me zoom out. The two pieces together, and I have just wrapped 
around it. Now this is facing you, so we're just going to take this and we're wrapping it around. Remember that the middle one right here? This one right here? It's the middle, it says C. And we're just going to wrap that around the middle. See how simple that was? Just taking it and wrapping it around the center. And you're gonna pull this down until your floral wire is laying on top of that finger, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, remember the, um, the nail I told you about right here? You're gonna take the bottom floor wire and you're just gonna wrap it around. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, my finger came out. I'm just taking this piece and I'm just wrapping it around once on that wire and then I'm just gonna tuck it underneath there. I'm just tucking it underneath there to get it out of my way, okay? Now, we've got this piece right here. We're gonna take it and we're wrapping it around that finger. Now, Regina always tells you not to wrap it around on top of each other, but kind of like a little snake coil. And that is what you have right now. We've got the bottom one wrapped around the nail, and then we have the top one wrapped around the top of that finger. Okay? Now, this is gonna be so easy, it's gonna blow your all's mind. We've got that wrapped around. You're gonna take your finger, you're gonna lay it down like this, and you're gonna put your finger right on top of where that ribbon is, okay? And then you're going to take, lay it on your finger, and then just pinch it. Just like that, okay? So I've put my finger down here, I'm laying the ribbon on top of my finger. Let me zoom that in just a little bit. Okay, there, that's better. Taking my finger, laying it on top, and I'm just pinching just like that. Now, here comes what Regina calls bottoms up. I have the bottom of the ribbon on my finger, pinching it, and the top part of the ribbon is facing up, and you're just going to do a little twist. Bottoms up. We're taking the bottom of the ribbon, twisting it, and that is called the bottoms up method, okay? Now, you're gonna take your fingers, like scissors, and then just clamp down on the ribbon, and your fingers are your guide. Your fingers are what's gonna guide this ribbon. So you're just gonna take it up, let it slide through your fingers, and wrap it around the very next finger, okay? I'll show you that again. Take your fingers like scissors, clamp both pieces of ribbon, and just guide the ribbon around that first finger. This is one, oh, why do I have trouble saying that? One R, okay? Now, you're gonna take this finger and doing the same thing. We're laying it right down here on top of that ribbon. We're taking the bottom of the ribbons, laying it on the finger, just like that, and we are pinching. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And now, bottoms up. Bottom of the ribbon is on our finger, the top of the ribbon is on top, and you're just bringing the bottom up to the top. That's bottoms up. And then again, you're gonna take your fingers like scissors, grab a hold of the ribbon, just like this, and slide it around the very next finger. Now, this part right here, you just, we are just gonna stack it on top of each other. You don't have to try to put it up here. You don't wanna put it down there. You wanna put it right in the middle. So, we've wrapped that around. We're taking our finger, we're laying it on the ribbon here, 
we're putting laying the bottom part on that finger and we're pinching the bottom of the ribbon is on the finger the top of the ribbon is on the top and then we're doing bottoms up just a little twist okay fingers like scissors guide the ribbon over the next finger which is finger two okay you can pull it a little snugly if you want but don't pull it too much and look as Regina says my phone rings my dogs start barking or like right now I have a cold and my nose is driving me crazy you can take your hands off of it and walk away and the whole bow doesn't just untwist so I mean it is oh it is so simple so take your finger lay it on the ribbon bring the two ribbons around lay the bottom one on your finger pinch the bottom of the ribbon is laying on your finger the top is here and you're doing the bottoms up just a little twist isn't that so easy fingers like scissors wrap it over give it a little pull finger down pinch bottoms up fingers like scissors now if I wasn't demonstrating this to you all I could make this bow in less than five minutes my hands not going to hurt I'm not going to get the 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 bow cramp that I like to call it and that's exactly what it is it's a bow cramp and if you have carpal tunnel or if you have you know like an ulnar nerve problem or whatever this is husband just called sorry I don't tell him I just hit the decline <laughs> bottom part of the ribbon on your finger top part here bottoms up and we're going to finish this off bottom of the finger pinch and then we're done now if you can see let me zoom in a little bit Can you see how it is stacked out? That's what you want. It's going to be big and it's going to be stacked out. And this is another reason why you should use floor wire with this because you can get it much, much tighter. So we are at our final loop. So what we're going to do now is we unwrap the top. And then we grab this piece at the bottom and we're untwisting both of them. Now again, this red chenille stem is just for demonstration purposes. You want to use floral wire. And then you're going to pull them together and you're going to twist this off. And you're going to twist and push it in as tight as you can and then just twist it off. Floor wire would also, you would have longer um, little pieces that you can use to tie into your wreath or to tie in um, to your grapevine wreath or whatever you're using. So there, this would be longer if you're using floor wire. So after this, you just pop it off. And this is what your bow is going to look like before we fluff it. And you can see really good how this is stacked on top of each other, okay? Now, I highly recommend that you get a fluff box, but since we did our new craft room, I can't find mine. So I think it's out in the storage facility. So I highly recommend that if you go and buy the Probo, Probo the Hand at probothehand.com, you also get the extra spool because it comes with one you might get the extra spool and also get the fluff box so i'm going to try to fluff this baby by hand 
if you use the fluff box, it's very secure and you can just fluff to your heart's content. All right, so now we're gonna separate our bow. Let me move it up here a little bit. We're gonna separate our bow and you just go in with your fingers and you just fluff it out. Fluff. And when you're using two ribbon, you want to alternate. So I, I put the white ones here and the teal ones here. And then the next time I'm gonna do this. And again, fluff box would make this so much easier. And then this way. And then this way. So we've got the one side of our bow done. And then we'll go back and make it look a little prettier. And now we're gonna go to the next side of our bow. Let's see, how did we do that one? Sorry, I hit the camera again. And we're just separating the pieces. That's all we are doing. And now you want to go in and you can fluff your bow. Again, fluff box would be so much better. And you can just pull on it and fluff it out and make sure that you get the ribbons where you want to get it. Put your hand in it and make the bows, the loops a little fluffier. I'm sorry that I'm sniffing up. This crud that my family has is just about to drive us crazy. So, let me see here. Separate that. Again, fluff box would make this so much easier. Here you got it. There is your beautiful bow made with Pro Bow the hand. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Now we've got some streamers left here. So what you can do is however long you wanna make the tail. I like to make four streamers. So however long you want to make the tail, you can just cut. Actually, I think it's six streamers. And then I'm also going to show you how to dovetail it. I like to take extra and since I don't have enough wire on here, what I'll do, I'll show you what I'll do, is you just take your ribbon let me zoom out for you. And then just cut off where you want to. And then fold it in half. And where you have folded, you're just gonna pinch it together. Just like so. And then you can add it and I'm just twisting it around to where the good side is facing outward. And like I said, I'm not gonna have enough. Well, I might. And then just twist it a little bit. Oh, there we go. And since I've smushed it, I'm gonna fluff it a little more. Now to make the dovetails, this is what you do to give it that, that final pop, okay? You're gonna take your ribbon and you're just gonna hold it like this. You want to fold it in half, just like that. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. Hold on. Okay. I took the ribbon, it's just together, holding it like this, and I'm folding it in half the folded side is right here. The uh, wired side is on this side. 
And then you're going to take your scissors. You're going to take your scissors and then just cut on an angle, okay? From here to the tip. And there you have your pretty dovetails. I'm going to do it again for you. You're just going to take your two pieces of ribbon, line them up, just like that, fold it in half. You have the folded side here, you have the wired side here. Take your scissors, cut from the fold up to the corner. And there you have your dovetails, okay? And I'm going to flip this again for you so you can see the finished product. Again, what box? I have to go find mine. That's actually kind of driving me a little crazy. And see how I tell if you didn't have wired ribbon, you wouldn't be able to go back in and manipulate this bow. You wouldn't be able to do it. And here it is with the other tails. Your beautiful finished bow. Isn't that gorgeous? Yay! Okay, I'm gonna turn you around real fast again. Hope you don't get seasick so that we can wrap this up. I've made a mess. And there's my messy kitchen again. Don't y'all just love it? Sorry, getting sick. Don't you love technology? Oh my goodness. Can you see me now? <laughs> All right, we're done. That was a double ribbon bow made with Probo the Hand. You can purchase Probo the Hand at probothehand.com. Also, you'll find on there tons of tutorials and wreath recipes that you can make. Single ribbon bows, double, triple, quadruple, terry bows, floppy bows, little bows, big bows, anything. So, wrapping it up, Please go ahead and this is this would be a good time if you have any questions because I was so focused on the bow, I wasn't able to look at the phone to see if you have any questions. So feel free to start asking questions if you want. Again, A Wreath in a Box is officially launched. You can go to thatwreathlady.com slash shop. There's two wreaths on there right now, but I will be adding them. Um, you can also go onto my website, thatwreathlady.com. Now, up at the top, it says a wreath in a box, and that is how you can subscribe to my email list. Email list VIPs will receive updates. They'll get the first look at the newest wreaths, and from time to time, I will also be providing you with discount coupons. So, I'm going to wait and see if anybody has any questions. Feel free. There's no dumb question. Trust me, I've probably asked all the dumb questions, and so you can't lay claim to dumb questions. Any questions? Any comments? Anything that you want me to clear up? Also, I don't know if Nancy Alexander is on here right now. If you are, say hi. Um, I was completely blown away today when Nancy Alexander from Ladybug Wreaths messaged me on Facebook and asked if I would partake in her Facebook Live today. And if anybody knows anything about Nancy Alexander, she is the wreath queen. So check that. I posted it on my Facebook page and you can check that out as well. So no questions, no comments. I am going to leave you this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you hop over to probothehand.com. Thanks, Regina. And get your Probo the Hand. Get a fluff box and an extra spool. And then hop on over to thatwreathlady.com slash 
shop. What was Regina's last name? You saw me on Nancy's feet. It is Sellers. S. Regina, tell me if I'm uh, spelling it wrong. S E L L E R S. And she, they also, her and Terry Marshall, who is the um, creator of the Terry Bow, they have a Facebook page, Dream Design Connect. So that's a really good one to be into. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. I'll be doing more Facebook Lives. Join me every Tuesday night at 7.30 Eastern Time for tutorials, chats, updates, whatever you want to talk about. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. And, oh, Regina, did I spell your last name right? S-E-L-L-E-R-S? -L -L -E I hope so. If I did, post it on here that it was wrong. Have a good evening, everybody. I appreciate your encouragement and support. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and now it's time to go out and be crafty, crafty, crafty. Bye, guys. I hope I stopped it. I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> nope, I don't think I did. Slide to stop.